Tonight, George W. Bush is taking his increasingly public opposition to Donald Trump to a new level. The 43rd president is now planning to hold a fundraiser for a top tr Trump target representative, Liz Cheney. Brian Todd is joining us right now. Brian, the only two living Republicans to have served in the Oval Office are now on a collision course. They really seem to be, Wolf, and by laying down this marker against Donald Trump, George W. Bush and his family could be signaling that they're willing to engage Trump in a battle for the future of the Republican Party. A political shot across Donald Trump's bow tonight from a Republican dynasty. A source telling CNN, former President George W. Bush will hold a fundraising event next month in Texas for Liz Cheney, the Republican congresswoman from Wyoming, who has openly sparred with Trump, rejecting his baseless claims that the 2020 election was stolen, voting to impeach him after the January 6th insurrection, actions which led to Cheney losing her House leadership role. I think this is a pretty big deal. I mean, this is the most prominent example that we've seen recently of establishment Republicans saying, you know what, this may be the party of Trump now, but it's not going to be the party of Trump forever. News of the Bush fundraiser for Liz Cheney comes just days after George W. Bush, speaking on the anniversary of September 11th, issued a stirring rebuke of the politics of division fostered by Trump without mentioning Trump by name. Malign force seems at work in our common life that turns every disagreement into an argument and every argument into a clash of cultures. So much of our politics has become a naked appeal to anger, fear, and resentment. That leaves us worried about our nation and our future together. Bush also alluded to the mob that stormed the Capitol on January 6th, most of whom were Trump supporters. There is little cultural overlap between violent extremists abroad and violent extremists at home. But in their disdainful pluralism, in their disregard for human life, in their determination to defile national symbols, they are children of the same foul spirit. For years, George W. Bush had largely held his tongue regarding Donald Trump, but behind the scenes, according to a Bush biographer. In private, he dislikes Trump. He doesn't like his style, and he doesn't like the fact that he has eroded a lot of the things that George W. Bush and George H. W. Bush, his father, of course, before him, had helped build up. Analysts say there's also deep resentment in the Bush family of Trump's relentless personal attacks on Jeb Bush during the 2016 Republican primary race. This guy Bush, he's like low energy, right? This is a tough business oh, to run for oh, president. Oh, no, you're a tough guy, Jeb. And, it's, and we need to have a leader that is <laughs> real tough. Tonight, it could well be shaping up as a battle between Trump and the Bush family for the soul of the Republican Party. I think George W. Bush has decided that he needs to save the Republican Party and he needs to save it from Donald Trump. And Donald Trump, for his part, issued a blistering statement following George W. Bush's speech on September 11th. Trump saying the World Trade Center came down during Bush's watch and that George W. Bush should not be lecturing anyone on the threat posed by domestic extremism, Wolf.